and welcome to the So Essential vlog. I'm here today to bring you a tutorial on how to make a small bust adjustment. So as the name suggests, this is an adjustment to do if your bust, if the pattern fits you everywhere else but it's a bit big in the bust area. So you, the ways to sort of spot this are you could hold the pattern tissue up against your body and if when the side seams are in the correct position at the side it comes too far across your centre front that might give you an indication. Alternatively if you make up a quick twirl and you can see it's a bit full in the bust area that can give you an indication as well. So it's a very straightforward adjustment to make. For the small bust adjustment, you overlap the pattern pieces to make it smaller, but then equally, a lot of people suffer with the need to do a full bust adjustment if the pattern fits them around the neck and the armholes, but it isn't big enough in the bust area. Now, I'm not going to demonstrate that today, but all you do in that scenario is instead of overlapping the pattern pieces, you spread them and you fill the gaps with tissue paper. So even if you need to do a full bust adjustment, this video will give you an indication of the lines you need to draw on the pattern piece and how to alter it. So the tools I'm going to be using today are my Alpha cutting mat, my copy of the Palmer and Pletch Complete Guide to Fitting, which is my fitting bible and I refer to all the time, some coloured felt tip pens, some scotch tape or sellotape. Um, I'll actually use sellotape in the video because it's easier for me, um, but actually scotch tape is better because you can peel it off and reapply it if you need to and then my trusty quilting ruler which is just so so useful when I come to do pattern alterations um, and that sort of thing so all of the things I've mentioned are available on our website and the link to our websites below and there's also a link to our blog below as well so without further ado I'm going to crack on and show you how to do the small bust adjustment so I've got my bodice pattern piece here and I'm going to demonstrate how to do a small bust adjustment. So I've marked the bust apex, that little blue circle there, and I've also marked the armhole seam allowance here. Now the first thing I'm going to do is making sure that everything is true and lined up with the grid on my board. I'm going to draw a line from the hem up to the bust point to the apex and then I'm going to continue that line across up to about a third of, a way, of the way up the armhole to about there. Okay I'm going to do this in a blue pen and if it helps you can actually just you can use pins or tape just to hold your pattern piece still whilst you do it, which I'm definitely going to do because it's bound to be moving around because I'm doing a demonstration. So I'm just holding that in place and you can, or you can use pins as I say. Now I want to draw a line up to the bust apex there, which is the bust point. That's where really effectively um, the centre of your, of your bust is. So I'm going to draw that line there down to the hem and then I'm going to come across from the bust apex up to about a third of the way up the armhole so I'm going to go about there and then the next line I'm going to draw, I'm going to draw in the pink pen in a different colour so that you can see it and that's going to go straight through the centre of the dart to the bus point. So I'm making a size 10, I'm going straight through there and then the other line that we're going to use as well, you can draw this line anywhere beneath the bust point. Um, but I'm going to use the length and shorten lines on the pattern that you can see here. I'm just going to draw it in green and that's the third line that I'm going to draw. So we've got lines one which comes up to the bust apex and across to the armhole. Line two which comes from the centre of the dart to the bust apex and line three which is perfectly horizontal to the grain line um, 
and can happen be drawn anywhere below the bust point but I've chosen to just use the lengthened and shortened lines there. Now what I need to do, I'm going to take my pattern piece off the board now because I need to do some cutting out so I'm going to turn it round because it would be a bit difficult for me to do it the other way around but I'm going to cut up line one so follow that line all the way up to the bust apex and then I'm going to come across but I'm going to stop cutting when I hit the seam allowance, the armhole seam allowance there because what I want to do then is to cut from the other side to the seam allowance but I'm going to leave a little hinge in place, I'm not going to cut all the way so that I can actually move my pattern piece like so. The next line I'm going to cut is line two and again I'm going to cut all the way to the bust apex but I'm going to I'm not going to cut through the tissue all the way through to where I cut line one I'm going to leave just a little hinge in place there as well now I want to reduce my pattern piece by half an inch for this smaller bust, small bust adjustment so what I need to do is overlap these pattern pieces by half an inch just get rid of that bit of tape there because that's now sticking to the board when I don't want it to of course as always happens in demonstrations so let's get that out of the way and then I've got my pattern pieces like pattern piece like so and I'm going to overlap the pattern piece by half an inch so as you can see I'm just overlapping that there it can be a little bit fiddly with this tissue papery type patterns um, but you'll get there eventually now you want to measure across here you want that bit to be half an inch overlapped by half an inch not um, across that way but across horizontally so and what you'll find is as you overlap those pieces the um, dart will also overlap as well so reducing your fullness there as well so we've got that overlap now let's just measure and make sure that's half an inch so it's not quite half an inch so I'm just going to adjust it a little bit more Okay, so we've overlapped that by half an inch now and half an inch there. So I can see that's overlapped by half an inch. So I'm going to stick that down now with some tape. I'm just sticking that down there we go and you'll notice that the armhole hasn't changed shape and also the bus dart has been reduced as well so I'm just going to take that down And the bust point has obviously come across here so what I need to do is mark a new dart point because your dart point you want to be about an inch to an inch and a half away from your bust apex because otherwise it will be a bit of a Madonna effect and um, you might end up with a bit of a pointy look in that area which isn't what we're going for so I've marked a new bus point which is an inch away from a new dart point sorry an inch away from the bus point and then what I need to do is just redraw the dart legs so I can see if I fold that back a bit of tissue back there I can see that the original dart notch is here and I'm going to join that up with the dart point here to create my new dart leg and then the other one 
is here. So I'm just going to draw that in as well. And there you go. It hasn't quite drawn over the uh, tape that I've used there. Let's just give that a bit more colour so you can see. Okay. So there we have it. We have our new dart, which is reduced in size. It's an inch away from the bus point and um, we've reduced the fullness in the front by half an inch as well. Now the only thing that is left to do is to true up this area. So we do that by just cutting along the green line And you can do this actually before you cut line one if you prefer. Um, and then all you do is you just slide that bit up, overlap that bit up until the bottom of the pattern piece is level. So if you can see there, I've lined that up, the bottom of the pattern piece is level there. And then everything is level again and you've got that half an inch reduction. Um, and that is your small bust adjustment. The only other thing you may find is you obviously needed to reduce the area here, um, but sometimes I find I still need some extra room at the waist. Um, so what you can do there is just grade out at the waist as you need to. If it's a pattern with a skirt piece, you can, and the skirt piece is the right size waist, you can put the skirt piece here and then just grade out to meet the waistline there. So you may need to do a little bit of adjustment there as well. Um, and for a full bust adjustment, you just do the opposite. Instead of overlapping the pattern pieces, you spread the pattern pieces and you fill the gaps with tissue. And that is how to do a small bust adjustment. So I hope you've enjoyed that today. I hope it's, you found it useful and it's given you the confidence to get on and have a go if this is an issue that you think you might be experiencing. My motto is always to just get on and have a go. I think we learn so much by trying things out, by trial and error and giving ourselves the time to do that with sewing. So you might be worried about cutting into your original pattern pieces and if that's the case, just trace the pattern off and have a play around with your traced version. If it goes wrong, if it doesn't work out, you can always trace another one off but you'll learn such a lot in the process of doing that. So all that's left to say is that all of the tools I use today are available on our website and the link to our website's below, plus thousands of other sewing goodies. And if you like what you see today, please like and subscribe and I shall see you next time.